Jonathan Smith. I'm going to show you how to install Git from Source on Linux. The reason why I'm doing it this way is because a lot of times the uh, packages that you use for your Linux does not have the version what you need it. I needed version uh, 1.8 of Git and uh, CentOS and stuff. I could not find the package, so I had to go around looking around, and then I gave up and I said I'll just build it from source. So on this tutorial I am actually going to show you how to build it from source. Let me log into my Linux box. Okay, right now you're going to see I'm um, pointing to my blog. It's uh, jonathansmith.com. The reason why I'm pointing to my blog is because I posted all the instructions up there how to do it. And I'm actually going to be cutting and pasting the instructions from my blog to a terminal window just so I don't have to type everything for the demo. So you can always go to jonathansmith.com and actually see uh, the instructions again. So right now, as you see, I'm going to go down and I'm basically going to make sure that I have all the tools on my box to actually do the make. So I'm going to go through and actually do a paste. And it's basically loading all the development tools that I need to do my make. And let me download and do my install. And as you can see, it's installing uh, five packages that I did not have on my box that I need to have to make. You might have these packages already, but you might not. So I always like to check, and I did not have them on this Act VM. So yeah, now that I have the packages I needed to use for make and stuff, I'm actually going to go into my source directory, local source. And I like to, uh, from local source, I like to make sure I got it. Now, from local source, I'm going to go and download the latest version of Git. And I like to use uh, wget just so I don't got to use like uh, the browser file manager and stuff. So I'm actually downloading the current version of Git that is out there right now. Now, the next thing we got to do is untar that file that we just got. So, I'm going to untar it. And again, you can see I'm doing a tar xzvf to untar it into the current directory. And it's there. Now, I'm going to... Now, I am actually going to cd into the directory. And again, I'm just doing everything from my blog so I could show you CD okay and now we're gonna run the first make command and uh, make sure it's there and it's going through and it actually did it but what I noticed is um, this actually must have been here before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go CD and I'm just going to go through and I'm going to RM remove force the git directory just so we can make sure we're doing this cleanly. Okay, so now you can see it's only the tar there. So now let me go back to the tarring step. So I'm going to tar it into the directory. Then, then I'm going to go into the CD step. So I'm there, and now let me go into the make step again, just so you can now see it building all the modules it need. So this can actually take quite a bit of time. So, uh, you know, just be patient, and it should go through without any problem if you have all the uh, dependencies to compile code on your box. And uh, basically, as you can see, it's... it's it's doing all the CC compiles and it's making all the object libs that I need it. And it's going through and let's see. As I said, depending on the, the speed of your box, this can take a pretty long time or it could be quicker than this. So it's almost done. So while this is running, let me go through and grab the next command we're going to need. So the next and final command is this, that is just basically the install. So let's wait for this to end. Okay, now it's going through and doing all the links. OK, 
Okay, and it's almost done. Let's see. Again, this could take quite a bit of time, but you know, depending on the box and the memory and the drives and everything, it could be quick and it could be slower. But I actually wanted to show you guys how long it takes and show you what your screen looks like. So that's why I deleted the directory and I redid it. So it looks like it's going to be done quickly, but let's do already at the T's. And now to use V, W, X, and K, pound through. And it's going through. And again, you could always go to my website to see. Now I'm going to paste the install command. The make install command. So now that should be doing it. Should be changing all the permissions. And now it's done. So let's just verify that it worked. And now you could see I have Git version 1.8.2.3. And I didn't have to use any packages to actually get that version of Git. And I have it installed and I could use it. Uh, but I hope this tutorial helped you. Uh, you could always go to my site, jarndemarksmith.com. And uh, feel free to keep going to that site, keep checking it because I keep adding tips and tricks. And if you would want to see anything else, please feel free.